largest crypto fund manager in New York has just received $500 million worth of XRP. Sounds like Wall Street is packing their bags and getting ready. Also, ship to shore October 12th, SDR, new asset class. Very compelling information right here. Must see this ship to shore. And also some very bullish news also. I am not a financial advisor. I'm documenting my journey on the digital decade. If you guys can smash some thumbs up, hit that subscribe. So first thing first is I wanted to highlight this, guys, to show you something. I know this relationship is from a year ago or so, but PNC uh, Bank, first U.S. bank to go live on Ripple Payment Network, rabbit hole time. I actually was diving a little bit deeper down this rabbit hole. And PNC, guys, it's a very big bank. Right across from Philadelphia International Airport is a massive PNC bank. Uh, I think it's like PNC headquarters. Uh, PNC Financial Service Group. This is their Wikipedia right here. I just wanted to show you guys some of the acquisitions that PNC has acquired over the last two decades. This is a very, very big deal. Now, we know PNC does own 22% of BlackRock. Um, we know PNC owns 22% of BlackRock. Now, other acquisitions. In 2004, PNC acquired United Nation Bank Corp based in Bridgewater, New Jersey for $321 million. 2005, PNC acquired Riggs National Corporation in Washington, D.C. March 7, 2007, Maryland-based Montel Bank PNC, uh, PNC acquired Maryland-based Martin Sale Bank, making PNC the eighth largest bank in the United States. 2007, uh, PNC Bank acquired Citizens Bank. October 14, 2009, took over Dwelling House and Savings and Loan. 2000, uh, 2011, PNC acquired Bank Atlanta, Tampa Bay Area Branches. 20, in December 2011, PNC acquired 27 branches in Atlanta, Georgia. 2012, PNC Bank acquired Royal Bank of Canada, the Royal Bank of Canada, for $3.4 billion. So, you guys, you pretty much see that PNC has acquired a hell of a lot of banks. So, there's going to be a lot of banks running on Ripple. I thought this was kind of interesting also. On May 23, 2011, PNC unveiled plans for a tower at PNC Plaza for $400 million, a $400 million headquarter. I'm pretty, I'm not sure if they would have created or put this much money into a headquarters. If they knew this new asset class was coming but pnc does run on ripple so i think that is going to be a big deal also guys we know pnc bank does own 22 percent of blackrock and if you guys don't know robbie mitchnick from ripple left ripple they say he left to run the digital innovation department at blackrock now pnc bank does own 22 percent of blackrock so that's a pretty big deal with the connection right there and I was hoping to show you guys that in here. Uh, but uh, most people know that's true. PNC Bank does own 22% of BlackRock. So I just want to show you guys that the relationship with PNC Bank and Ripple is a very big deal. Now, XRP has more trading pairs than all assets on Binance, US, Binance USA. Guys, I'm here to tell you I'm extremely bullish on Binance USA. And XRP has more trading pairs on the exchange than any other asset. Now, trading pairs are if you want to purchase XRP, you would... Uh, you know, ACH or debit USD in your account, and you would pair that with XRP. So, if you have a thousand dollars in USD, you could purchase a thousand dollars in XRP. Now, if you got BTC, depending on how much Bitcoin you had, is depending on how much XRP you have. But most assets on the exchange only have a USD pair or a USDT pair, but this has all the pairs BTC, BUSD, USD, and USDT. So that goes to show you guys that Binance USA is very bullish on the standard. And I'm very bullish on Binance USA big time. Now, Crypto Kali, our fearless leader at Binance USA, says dancing in Decentraland. Come over to the Binance US headquarters. Party just got started. So guys, I did uh, log into uh, Decentraland. Happy birthday, Decentraland. As you can see, here's uh crypto Kali in here uh here goes the binance usa headquarters in decentraland i actually guys i did make a video when i went in there i think here's my video right here just ran into crypto Kali. so while you guys are at home in quarantine i'm at the binance usa club <laughs> well, who's that what up buddy how you doing there's crypto Kali. crypto Kali's here let's walk up to her watch there's Crypto Kali right there, guys. And you can see, basically, if you're in this uh, scene in Decentraland, they're playing music. There's a DJ. You can buy hoodies there, hats. 
Uh, they got NFTs you can purchase in there. I think they're doing an NFT giveaway. So I said ran into Crypto Kali from Binance Club in the central land now guys uh dancing in the central land crypto Kali. but if you guys recall back a few years ago i was bullish on the central land because of barry silver barry silver on twitter eighty-one thousand just spent on via mana so basically in the central land you can actually buy parcels of land and you build them up like they built the binance usa uh building within the central land barry silver on twitter the central land is one of the projects uh uh basically so I just want to show you guys that Barry Silver is extremely bullish on the central land. He backs the central land. And here's Barry Silver at 81000 just spent on mana. So the central land is the company and mana is the digital asset. And it's also on Binance USA, a regulated USA exchange. So uh, also, guys, if you're not familiar with this, Binance USA is on big time giveaways right now. Shout out to Mission XRP, one of the bullish family members, winner, winner. Uh, you're taking home 5,000 Matic. So shout out to Mission XRP in the uh, Bullish family. He won 5,000 Matic from Binance USA. Also, my brother uh, Johnny C won too. Let me see. It's in here somewhere. I'll take a quick look. Uh, I guess I can't find it. But XRP Mission won and uh, Johnny C won also. So now guys, if you, you're kind of curious how to win, here's Binance USA. They're also doing a... It's not a Binance USA birthday without hoodies. All you have to do is follow us on Instagram and we'll pick five new followers tonight. So basically, they're going to pick five followers tonight to win a Binance hoodie. And they're also uh, having a great time in Binance USA headquarters. Here's the central land. And I just want to show you guys another one more giveaway they're doing in case you guys, so you don't guys don't miss this one. Now, they're also giving away 200,000 Matic and you got, I mean, Harmony. And you guys know I'm very bullish on Harmony also. Uh, they're giving away 50,000 Matic. Yesterday was just one of our birthday week. We're rolling in the Matic, 50,000 Matic. Uh, yeah, here it is. Didn't get any unit. Don't worry. We're giving away 200,001. 20 winners will win 10,001 each. So, guys, I highly recommend this. All you have to do is put this as your uh, avatar, retweet. And basically, winners will get 10,001 each. Retweet, follow Binance USA, reply with your Binance user ID, number starting with uh, three in your profile. But I think I did see Mission XRP, he just retweeted, and I think they request your Binance ID before they give it to you. So, uh, I, guys, I'm very bullish on Binance USA. Big deal. Very, it's a big deal. A new bill proposal to put U.S. crypto exchanges under national framework. Guys, it's coming. Regulation is extremely bullish. New bill could bring cryptocurrency exchange under single federal framework. The Digital Commodity Exchange Act of 2020 introduced Thursday by Rep. Michael Conaway, Texas, seeks to create a federal definition of digital commodity exchanges. The bill outlines a new framework for digital currencies treating them similar to commodities so this is a very big deal rather than applying for a license in all 49 states this so uh, basically applying for 49 different state money transmission license so basically guys will come out with federal license so this is a very big deal bullish time also huge birthday a huge birthday shout out to ck and i got the ship to shore from ck it's at xrp underscore kings ck now, if you scroll down right here to Chekawaka, Nabaka, it says it all comes down to what might happen this October when the International Monetary Fund IMF meets between October 12th and October 18th to reveal its special drawing rights SDR, the world's reserve currency. So SDR is all the, the strongest nation's basket of currencies. Now, they have reserve currencies like the USA has the... Uh, United States dollar. I think China has the China one. I think Russia has the rugby. Uh, I could have messed the name up. Uh, now, there is rumor that will XRP be introduced as an SDR because it is a digital asset. And some say, will the SDR go digital because holding fiat is a pain in the and you know and also guys we are moving towards a cash of society so october 12 2020 not sure why but the date keeps coming up to me now also this is kind of interesting guys because once you click on this right here what sent me down the ship to shore rabbit hole is this right here now uh where is it at okay maybe it's on this one yep it's on this one right here so if you scroll down right here 
I uh, also thought the 12th and 18th will be special for a couple of months now. Here's hoping. XRP enthusiast. Uh, sweet, let's go. Now, shout out to Crypto Scott. Columbus Day, 12th of October. Christopher Columbus robbed in the Americas on October 12th, 1492. Ship to shore. So, October 12th, the SDR. They're going to uh, update that scenario. October 12th is also the same day that Columbus landed in America, October 12th. And also, Bearable Guy has been highlighting ship to shore. So I think that is a pretty interesting scenario there. SDR, XRP, ship to shore, October 12th. It keeps coming up. It is a big deal, I believe. And here's Bearable Guy, of course. Here's the original picture right here. Here's the ship. Here's the anchors. Also, guys, it's kind of ironic because you guys remember a few days ago, Joe Katz also tweeted a picture of a boat and anchors which means ship to shore i believe so joe katz is kind of hitting at this and barrel guy of course put this picture out quite some time ago so interesting scenario there now rabbit hole time largest crypto fund manager in new york new nydig just received 500 million in xrp this is a very big deal guys because nydig jumped out at me big time because if you guys recall, NYDIG is growing with some terrific new additions to the team. Now, Ben Lawski, who is an executive or a board member to NYDIG, and also a board member at Ripple Labs, Larson sent XRP into custody with the New York Digital Investment Group, NYDIG, a digital investment management firm. Larson, who also serves as executive chairman of Ripple Board of Directors, says the move demonstrates his confidence in the firm. Now, this is a big deal, guys, because uh, Chris Larson moves a half a billion dollars worth of XRP and co-founder Chris Larson moved a hefty 500 million XRP in a single transaction. Now, Larson sent the XRP into custody with New York Digital Investment Group. Uh, you also may have noticed I moved XRP to a while to NYDIG. I've known the founders for a while. Now, form, uh, formed in 2017, NYDIG is rapidly becoming one of the biggest fund managers in crypto. This year, the firm raised more than $190 million for, for institutional Bitcoin fund, according to Security Exchange Commission. On a separate May filing, NYDIG raised nearly $140 million for a Bitcoin yield enhancement fund. Now, also, guys... It's really interesting here that Ben Lawski would tweet this because here's Ben Lawski, Ripple board member, CEO of the Lawski Group, and head of regulatory at NYDIG. Bingo. Right there, guys. So Lawski's head of regulatory at NYDIG, and Chris Larson just sent $500 million worth of XRP there. Something big is cooking for sure. The European Commission officially approved the digital finance package. The European Commission officially approved the digital finance package, which includes a financing strategy and legislative approval, a proposal for crypto assets. Now, this is a very big deal. If you click on this really quick, uh, the digital finance package, and they're mentioning crypto multiple times in here, based on a broad public consult and digital finance outreach the european commission adopted on 24th of september a digital financial package now a finance strategy and proposal on crypto assets and digital resilience by making more rules more digital friendly and safe consumer consumers aim to leverage between high innovative startups right there and also, the digital finance strategy sets out general lines on how European can support the digital transformation coming uh, in the coming years. And of course, they mentioned crypto in here multiple times. Um, the commission proposes a uh, framework on crypto assets to allow for innovation in a way that preserves financial stability and protects investors. Crypto assets are digital representations of value. Now, guys, if you recall, EU, European Commission, Blockchain Group launches with Swift Ripple on board. Swift IBM Ripple and around 100 other firms and organizations have joined a new blockchain association to promote adoption of technology across the eu a european commission initiative bingo 
Alrighty guys, the boss bull will come down right now. Smash that bull to subscribe to the channel. I truly believe guys, time is winding down. October and better be ready before January. I'm not a financial advisor. What you guys think in the comments? Let me know. Smash some thumbs up, hit that subscribe. Hit that notification bell and you will be notified daily when we release a video. Much love, mahalo. Bullish family number one.